The worst flu season in a decade continues with even more people getting sick. Well, the CDC today said that 13 million Americans have been infected with influenza. That's since October, and other respiratory illnesses are also climbing. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with the renewed warning. We keep hearing these numbers are going up, 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 yeah. up, up. So hospitals are now filling up, and the wait times in emergency departments can last for hours. The triple demic of flu, RSV, and COVID is growing. And and health officials say the Christmas season could bring a flood of even more illnesses. We're seeing a lot of patients that are coming in with flu-like illnesses. Hospitals are slammed with sick people. The CDC map shows influenza cases in New Jersey are among the highest in the country, with more than 44,000 lab-confirmed cases since October. Doctors say the real numbers are probably much higher because most people don't get tested. Very, very busy. Dr. Thomas Brabson is the chair of emergency services at Atlantic Care's facilities throughout South Jersey. People are getting out and about a lot more, and I think that the um, people are, are letting their guard down. There's also a growing number of children being hospitalized with the respiratory illness RSV. This past year has been unlike any other years in the past. Ten-week-old Jack was hospitalized with RSV for nearly a week. His belly was kind of sinking into his lower ribs, so that was the first really kind of big it's scary moment. It's really scary as a parent to see that happening to your baby. RSV or respiratory syncytial virus is surging along with the flu and COVID-19 infections. The CDC COVID community transmission map is once again read around our tri-state region, meaning the virus is spreading widely. In the past two weeks, COVID cases in New Jersey are up 50 percent. There's a 39 percent jump in Pennsylvania and Delaware has had a 65 percent increase. There are some severe cases Usually the severe cases are in people that have uh, pre-existing underlying diseases. Doctors say all three of the viral infections sweeping the country could be slowed by mask wearing and being up to date with vaccinations. But so far, fewer than 13 percent of Americans have received their updated COVID boosters. It tells me that people are not getting the message. And there is this important reminder from doctors. People should only go to the emergency departments of hospitals for trouble breathing and other serious conditions. Hospitals are having a hard time juggling so many patients. If you only have a fever and congestion, better call your doctor and stay home. Got to stay vigilant. Yeah, that's yeah good exactly. My yeah. goodness. All right, Stephanie, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you.